All right, my wife's about to head out to work and I'm gonna make a quick smoothie for her to go. So here we go. She's gonna take it, so we're gonna use personal cup. And I'm gonna duplicate a recipe that was on the uh, Vitamix users forum. And that was about a half cup of Milk. Well, I'm gonna do the fruits first because it's reverse loading. Part of it was some berries, frozen mixed berries. Open another pack here. Doing just a quarter cup here. Quarter cup of mixed berries. Oh, wait. I'll just throw those in there. About a quarter banana. Which is pretty much that. I don't have any other smaller chunks. Yeah, there we go. Pour the banana. A couple of strawberries, but these strawberries, some of them are kind of really, really big, and I think the machine will... See, look at this strawberry. Somebody would throw this in there and complain about the machine not churning up anything. This is too big frozen strawberry. Let's try smaller ones. Uh, that one, this one, and pretty sure that's gonna be it. I'm gonna fill it with some greens. don't have pure spinach, but I do have some spring mix. And a little bit of that for some fiber. Okay. All right, now we can add some milk, about a half a cup. Okay, our loading is good. Get rid of this milk. Might have to be a little more milk because I'm using a lot more frozen ingredients. So this actually might have to blend for quite a bit. A little bit more protein is needed in this one. So we're just gonna add a little bit of protein. That's good. One thing I like to do is put protein powder as close to the blade as possible because protein powder, if you put it anywhere near the bottom, it's just gonna stick. All right, we'll get the blades on there. Usually a one-to-one -one ratio is what I like to do in these cups. So some extra water will help, which is fine because I put the whey in there and some, I'm gonna put a little bit of stevia in there. Tablespoon just to sweeten everything up and especially for those greens. Now I'm also gonna make this recipe for myself in a little while, because I haven't had breakfast myself. Okay, we are ready to go. And 
let's do a power blend because of the frozen stuff. Let's see how it comes out. All those big berries. Yep, oh, it's going. See how proper loading and proper ingredients in the machine will work. You can't just throw stuff in willy-nilly and complain it doesn't work. See how much I loaded it and then it started out like right here and then went all the way up here. That's why people complain all the time. Oh, the cup is too small, this, that. Putting too much in there. Some ingredients, they start out here and then just fill up all the way. And you need some kind of gap because this is now pressurized air because it's been squeezed up here. So that's why people have overflow problems. You just got to think about these things. You just got to think. It, take, it doesn't take much to think. Watch, watch the pressure come out. You gotta do this slowly. There we go. Nice and slow. And if you have trouble, just get a, the handle of a spoon or, or whatever, and it'll help you. Look at, perfect, perfect, perfect. And there's nothing left. Everything is blended. And now, she will have a nice, lovely, smoothie to go. Your smoothie's ready, my butt. It came out perfect. 